Welcome, Relove family. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, family. Um, much props to the Relove Church pastoral team. Um, so, Relove, you know, we family. We come a long way. We got family at Relove Church. Okay, let's do okay, that, over, do that over Sorry. Hey, much props and... Uh, oh, much props. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Hey, welcome. Welcome, Relove family. Hey, welcome, Relove family. You turn that off. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. This is like take ten. Okay, this is this is it. This is the All this right. is final cut, is, right? Um, We've just been going back and forth. Well, welcome, welcome, Rela family. <laughs> welcome to our Rela family. Uh, much props to the pastoral team there that's been just doing a, an amazing job and just kind of creating this space uh, for not only relationship goals uh, but also for marriage and yeah. also parenting. Uh, and yeah. so this series has been amazing and just thank you for thinking of myself and my beautiful wife to participate um in what you guys got going there and so much props not only to the pastoral team but to your pastors uh pastor seth and holly and the girls uh thank you for your vision and your influence and your impact not only just at relove but beyond relove you guys have been doing a phenomenal job in building the kingdom of god and we're just blessed to be a part of this journey with you yes and relove relove you are family, family. to us Current leaders, yes, leaders from the past, yes, uh, that now rest in the Lord has also mm -hmm. had a great impact on our lives. So we're just grateful to have this uh, opportunity. Um, so I'm Pastor Meshach uh, Soli. I pastor at the San Diego South Bay Church um, out here in deep San Diego. Uh, I think next week will be our third yeah, our third year years. here in this this amazing community. And so just uh, blessed to not only serve here but probably been in ministry. What we've been. 15 years? About 15, About 15 years yes. now. Yep. Yep. And I'm Linda and I'm a respiratory therapist here in San Diego, Kaiser. Um, woo woo. <laughs> Amen, Ariel. Amen, Kaiser. No. And so uh, we've been married for what? Um, yep, 22. Going on 22 years now. I you have to hook on that one. Yep. I had, to, <laughs> I had to write that down on my hand so to make sure I didn't mess up. Uh, but also, we've been parenting for our oldest is 21. 21. And going to be 22 this May. And so for 21 years, uh, we've uh, had the privilege of being uh, parents to our amazing uh, young strapping lads. Yeah, five boys. And mm -hmm. they range, I think we cover every age group. We have Marty that's 21. He's at Walla Walla University studying yeah. engineering. And then we, we have, have uh, Izzy, Izzy. Uh, Isaac. He's in Andrews University. Sophomore. Sophomore year mm -hmm. studying uh, medical lab science. Yep. He's 18. Something 18. Mm -hmm. Oh, 18. Mm -hmm. no, he's going to be 19. He's 19. He's going to be 19 this year. Oh, this year. Oh, no, you're right. He is no, 19. He is 19. Sorry, Izzy. Okay, he's 19. Sorry. Yeah, he's 19. Then we had a 10 year gap. Mm -hmm. We had a 10 year gap. And we got Zion. Yep. He is our 10, 10, 10 baby. Yep. 10 he years old. 10. Yep. And then we have our Gideon, our mighty warrior. Yep. He's eight. Gideon. Mm -hmm. Right. And our Judah to Lai Ia. Soli. He is Soli. Uh, the baby he's of the family. Baby. And he's four. He's See, so four we years every, old. We got 21. One in every Sabbath school class. Every, yeah. Yep. And so. <laughs> College to elementary. <laughs> so what we've learned about uh, parenting in the past 21 years yes. of parenting is that uh, we still have a lot to know and learn about parenting. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I like that saying, uh, we might not have it all together, Come on but now. together, Come on. right? We have it all. We have it all together, <laughs> right? So praise <laughs> the Lord for that. Uh, our topic uh, for you today is uh, entitled, How to Develop Family Core Values. Mm -hmm. um, this has been an area in parenting for us that has helped us navigate through some of the biggest choices, challenges, and even the transitions uh, within our within our family. And so mm -hmm. if we could put it in a quote, uh, what family core values is related to, uh, we love using Samoan Proverbs, yes. right? And so there's a Samoan proverb that says, Ole tanoa uh, maonavai, right? And what that means is this, right? So this is a tanoa, it's, it's, it's a bowl, right? And so what that means is this, is the bowl needs the support of its legs. Yes. And so what goes in this bowl is used for a lot of um, ceremonies, and if you understand the support of the legs here keeps the bowl stable, gives mm -hmm. it a foundation, and it gives it security. And without mm -hmm. the legs of this bowl here, mm -hmm. everything inside of this bowl would be all over the place, mm -hmm. right? And so family core values are simply like that. Without the legs, 
right, to the bowl or without the support of our core values for our family, yes. right, uh, we would have stability, we would have security, and our family's values would simply be all over the place. And yes. so before I get started, I'm just going to ask my wife if she could just open us in a word of prayer. Sure. Bow your heads with me and uh, join me in prayer. Lord, uh, we are so happy to be here. We know we could be anywhere else, but Lord, we know that you have purposed us here. And Lord, as parents, we need your help. Mm. We need your help. So Lord, we ask that you continue to walk with us, with talk, talk to us as parents, and uh, guide us in this journey uh, with our children, um, Lord. So we just ask that you bless this topic. Um, Holy Spirit, rain down, help us and speak life to the parents that are here tonight, today. And we just want to say that we love you and then we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 And so if you want to just grab a pen and a paper, maybe take mm -hmm. some notes. Uh, if not, you can have the ability to go back and just, um, you know, review the, the video again. And then also at the end, we will share with you some resources uh, online that you can go to and even um, a worksheet that you can access uh, that will make available to help you um, develop your own family core values. And so um, question that I just want to ask you first is this. How many of you have ever thought of developing um, a vision or maybe even a mission statement yep. for your family? Yep. Right. Yeah. And how many of you have or thought of developing core values for your family? All right. And so I, I would I would say just like us and maybe the majority of us who are here today watching or have never sat down and really thought of developing a mission statement or core values for your family, like actually putting pen to paper and, and, and writing this down, right? And so I think that, you know, uh, some of you might have a set of core values, like we've had core values before we even thought of writing them down, but we never took the time to kind of develop them so that it was something that we could not only just model, but we could visually see as well. Mm -hmm. and, and so you might ask like, why, why are family core values important? Mm -hmm. um, and um, core values, it's a powerful tool in parenting in ways that we can influence our children and be intentional. Um, um, especially because um, our kids are so influenced by social media, mm -hmm. their peers um, outside the home. So these core values will assist you in navigating um, healthy parenting with your children. And I always like the saying too, right? Because you bring up a good point. Um, our kids are bombarded um, when they leave the home. So whether it's at school, whether it's something they see on, on TV, whether it's amongst their peers, we always like to say that home is a place where our kids are reminded mm -hmm. who they really are. Yes. Because of the world that's constantly telling mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. who they are, which really isn't who they really are. <laughs> so... So why are they important? Why are family cores important is one, it provides clarity, mm -hmm. right? And in the Bible, in Proverbs 29, 18, it says where there's no vision, mm -hmm. right? Will perish. Right. So no vision, no good. That's right. Right. So parent, as parents, we are more effective and clear when we know what we value for ourselves and how those values influence what we want for our children. You sure. see, also the more intentional parents are, of the values they want to pass on to their children. And the more we know about effective ways of showing them, the more likely it is that our children will learn and incorporate their values, values for those themselves. Right. For, so, so for example, um, service is one of our core values of our family. Um, and we talk about a lot about living to bless others. And we provide a lot of different opportunities for, for our kids. kids to live to bless others. So mm -hmm. my eight year old, um, he's collected a lot of birthday money um, and the other day he was like, mom, I want to donate all my money to the unsheltered. And I was like, wow, you know, you, I didn't have to say anything to him. Mm -hmm. You know, eventually that will be just part of what they do. So another thing that family core values will also provide guidance. Mm -hmm. Another verse we can all probably say yep. by memory, Proverbs right? 22, Proverbs 22, verse 22, 6. Verse six mm -hmm. Is train up a child in the way we should go and he should go. And when he is old, he will, will not, not depart from, from it. it. Right. So knowing your goals, right, for your child helps you decide how to relate to your children. Right. It focuses um, the parents' choices you make, helps you guide your children, determine what messages you want to send. Mm -hmm. Also, what behaviors and 
attitudes you want to reinforce, right? Mm -hmm. For example, is it hard work? Mm -hmm. Is it guidance? Generosity. Generosity, independence, perseverance, right? Character. It helps you pick your battles and decide what is worth your time and attention and what you can let go. Sure. And then, so the third thing is not only does it provide uh, clarity or provide guidance, mm -hmm. but core values impact relationships. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the major things within our family that mm -hmm. we have found core values uh, to be very beneficial. And so uh, it impacts relationships. And so understanding and knowing your core values, it helps to serve as a guide to determine when or even how we want to intervene in yes. a situation with our children, right? And so also we would like to add to that and then impacting relationships is also the idea of core values, um, having an element of providing accountability, mm. right? And so that's like when we're disciplining our children, we actually have something that we can go to and say, hey, this is why this or that is unacceptable, right? right? And so it provides clarity, provides guidance, um, it provides um, accountability, yep. which also all ties into impacting relationships. Right. And so family, when it comes to core values, uh, what we've realized is that we want our children to um, see it, not memorize it, right? So in other, in other words, modeling core values is greater than mm -hmm. memorizing these core values. And so maybe some of us have a lot of time to just put these things down on paper and say, hey, kids, you got to memorize mm -hmm. your core values. And mm -hmm. we, we don't, we don't, we don't believe in, the, in, in that type of way or method. You see, our older boys right now, they can actually recite mm -hmm. these core values. And I believe the reason why they're able to do that is because now that they're no longer at home with us, they grew up on these core values. And we pray that some, these some are the core values that they wanna pass on maybe into their relationships or you know, if they have a, a growing family later on in their life, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, for our three younger boys, we don't um, and can't expect them to memorize family core values without us first modeling mm -hmm. these core values in our home and in the way that we, we, we parent, right? And so what we want to do first here, family, is this. Uh, we want to share with you the solely family core values, uh -oh. right? Yeah. Yeah. We want to share what, what we developed <laughs> as a family that helped navigate us up to this point. Mm -hmm. And so if we're going to be honest, like, what was our, what would, you, what would you say some of our core values were before we met the Lord? Because there's a huge difference. And even though we didn't write them down, mm -hmm. we, we found a lot of other things before we met the Lord more important than this, this current list that we have now. Right. Yeah. So what, what do you think some of those values were? Um, I mean... Growing up from Hawaii, I, I was really chillax. So to me, it was, life was pretty much just go with the flow. But I would say one thing was important was money, mm -hmm. more money, just making mm -hmm. money. But I but I also think too, like before we met the Lord, it wasn't more. It wasn't just about making money. Mm -hmm. It was about having money. Yeah. Right. And using that money in a way that wasn't really. Yeah. For whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was just thinking too, like some of the, the values that we had before. I thought was. We were really consumed with uh, having a good time. Yeah. And when we say that, we were consumed about every weekend, having people over, mm -hmm. um, partying, putting our kids in a, you know, an unhealthy environment to grow up in with uh, some of the things that we were, we were doing and the things that we um, had around our, our family at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's, it, you know, it's kind of emotional thinking about it now <laughs> and just where God has brought us today. And so we're just, we're just thankful to share what God has impressed upon our hearts um, in this new season uh, for the solely family core mm -hmm. values. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you want to share our first one. Sure. Our first one is God. Yeah. Absolutely. God right. um, having a personal relationship, um, modeling um, that to our children, having a devotional life, um, prayer life, family worship. And I think that was something that um, was incorporated, just happened naturally with our grandparents and our parents. I mean, that was something we grew up with having worship with my parents. It wasn't so busy. So they had morning, afternoon, evening worship. It was like first thing you woke up was to, to family worship. So we, we, we incorporate that in our family to make sure that is um, an important part of our right. daily yeah. Yeah. Our core values. It's like every everything that we do 
is foundational and rooted into God. And so um, we've modeled that for our kids. So they, they, they'll see us maybe in the kitchen or maybe in the living room or in our beds mm -hmm. in the morning, either reading our devotion, doing journaling, things like that. And so again, it's important that we've modeled this for our kids and not just tell them that this is something important, mm -hmm. right? And so that's some things that have been passed down, passed down to us from yeah. generation to uh, generation, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> for sure, definitely. Our second one would be um, family. Yeah. So family is um, broken up in a few in a few spaces here that we would like to just pause and talk about uh, for a minute. So. Um, Family being our immediate family mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. right? We, we always want to make sure that we take care of each other. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, first church. Yep. Our first church mm -hmm. um, should be taken care of. And everything that is done in our first church should be an um, outpouring or an overflow yeah. of what we do for our local church, right? And so we're always trying to make sure that we're intentional <laughs> about uh, taking care of our anyway. immediate family, right? And so mm -hmm. our, our boys, right? Mm -hmm. We've always taught them to look after each other. Mm -hmm. Right? Like the relationship that Marley has with um, with Isaac. You see them now today after that conversation you had with them, right? Mm -hmm. They have this just special bond together because um, we value that um, our immediate family comes first. Mm -hmm. Our extended family and our church family. Yeah. Yeah, that's really important too. Mm -hmm. um, um, just like the Gava Bowl um, with the many legs that holds up our family, uh, our family core values. It's uh, we have the village mentality, mm -hmm. right? It's not just me, me, Shaq. It's um, their uncles and aunties, their mentors, their uh, PSR camp leaders, mm -hmm. right? That have also been a, a big influence in our kids, in our kids' lives. Yeah, and because you know we have that village mentality, you know we also love the Islander proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. And so what that means is like. Um, when we celebrate, we all celebrate. Mm -hmm. when, when, when somebody gets a degree or a doctorate, guess what? We all become doctors. Amen, somebody. <laughs> because we believe that we celebrate with each other. Community and yeah. family has been huge, huge in our, in our core values, right? And so that's why I believe, too, like if you want to talk about some of the mentors, right? right. That you were just saying. Um, chaplains at some of the academies that our kids yes. go to. Um, summer camp. Mm -hmm. has played a major role in there. They have counselors um, that is part of our village. And so I think here's the key too. We don't just allow our kids to be counseled or influenced uh, just by anybody, but we, we, we feel that some of these people that are really close to our, um, our boys and have an impact in modeling or mentoring them is because they share these, these same core values, right. you know? And so that has been huge in their their development, right? Right, and, and extended family, we look out for each other, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's very important. A yep. um, few weeks ago, me and Meshach went through COVID-19 and my right. sister, mm -hmm. she came and she came down and took care of us. Mm -hmm. Not afraid to um, get the, the, the virus, but mm -hmm. that also modeled to my children mm -hmm. that, you know, the we're village. family, we that's take right. care of each other. Yeah. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah, and so that 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 to ourselves too is just something that's just so important that we um, like to instill into our into our kids, right? And so um, going back to modeling, if if I say that family is a core value, um, but then I spend more time at work, mm. or I spend more time church. at the office or at the church, yeah. right? Um, and my kids see that, then they 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 can actually say, well, no, I, I don't think family is your core value. Yeah. Work is your, your core value. Yeah. And so we're sending mixed communications there. So know that when you're um, developing these core values and practicing and modeling, make sure that your core value matches your actions, mm. right? Matches your actions. Yeah, definitely has to be a balance. Mm -hmm. What's our third? Uh, education. Mm, absolutely. Education is huge, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, our, both our parents, uh, they instilled that education was very important. Mm -hmm. um, um, they wanted us to um, continue education after high school. So college, mm -hmm. college is not a. It's it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a choice. Option. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's not an option. College is uh, yeah. grade thirteen. Yeah, yeah. And you're grade fourteen, starting. right? After high school, you're still you're just <laughs> starting. We've implemented to, yeah. to our kids like yo, um, and, and so listen. I'll be very yeah. clear too. It, it's not just academics, right? Right. 
it's holistic. We, we've got to make sure that when we're talking about education, mm -hmm. it's not just on this westernized thinking of education where our kids have to go out and get degrees, mm -hmm. right? It's not about adding um, those extra letters, letters right. behind mm -hmm. your name. Say, for instance, our one of our kids is to see himself going to a four-year college or getting mm -hmm. an undergrad or a master's, but he sees himself as maybe doing a trade, yep. right? Um, going into the military. Going into the military, yep. you know. There's other avenues of education that we want to instill into our, our kids. Mm -hmm. And I think it benefited us uh, in a sense because we never saw the value of education no. until... Till 30. Yeah. yeah. So, so after we got married? After kids, yeah. With kids and married. <laughs> and so if you have, if you ever have an opportunity to, to, to get your, yep. your education on, yep. like make sure you do that when <laughs> before you have five children, right? <laughs> yeah. Because it's probably one of the hardest things that we've, ever, we've been mm -hmm. able to do. But the great thing was right. that our kids saw it. Yeah. And we learned from that. Yeah. We, 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 yeah, we had to learn for ourselves yeah. to see yeah. how important education was. Yeah. And they, and so us going through those different challenges mm -hmm. and spending late nights and mm -hmm. sacrificing sleep, but still being a parent at the same time, model to our kids that, yo, education is important. And so mm -hmm. I'm always telling my kids, it's like, yo, if I can graduate. Yeah, we all can graduate. <laughs> hey, hey, well, hold on. <laughs> exactly. Anybody. Oh, no, anybody. Anybody can graduate. Come on, somebody. <laughs> right? And so um, holistic meaning uh, we also have to do the best part that we can um, to provide opportunities mm -hmm. for our kids to grow in education, right? Mm -hmm. um, what about culturally? Oh, man, uh, we took that trip to Samoa. Yeah. And so we, we, we believe to culture. Yeah. education, mm -hmm. right? Part of the, some of those subtitles below that is mm -hmm. uh, not only academics, but we want to educate our kids culturally. Right. To the homeland. That's right. And so, yeah. what was it? How long ago? Two. Uh, two. 20, 20, 2018? Two and a half, yeah. 2018, we took our our entire family to mm -hmm. Samoa to see Linda's parents. And I think we spent about 10 days mm -hmm. um, in the islands. It was um, the boys' first time there. Mm -hmm. um, it, was a, it was an experience mm -hmm. that we actually had to take them out a week early for Christmas break. So they had a, like, what, three weeks mm -hmm. of a Christmas break. Mm -hmm. And we had to talk to the academy about it. We had to say, look, um, we have to take our kids out just a little bit early from Christmas break uh, yeah. because we believe that there's some things that our kids can experience and learn mm -hmm. that is not in the classroom. Right. Right. And because we are very rooted in our culture, we want them to be educated on who they are right. and where they come from yeah, exactly. and who their ancestors are and yes. who their grandparents are. It gives them a more richer experience of, of who they are, right? Yeah, and their identity, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. And then also, again, socially, right. you know, mm -hmm. education also falls under that. How to act, like they better mm -hmm. act right. Right. You know, th mm -hmm. that's very important. Like how you mm -hmm. how how you act in front of people, right? Yeah, or respect in, your elders. That's right. Yeah. That, the, all, that's that whole huge gambit. In our huge, culture. huge. Yeah. And so, no, noticing that our e education is a core value mm -hmm. really uh, can expand to something even greater mm -hmm. um, and, and something even more in depth mm -hmm. in, in those things, right? Sure. What's our next one? Service. Mm, love service that one. Is a big one. Yep. Yep. Um, our culture is huge on service. Yeah, that comes naturally mm -hmm. for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. In, in, in everything that we do, whether it's for our parents or whether it's at home, mm -hmm. it's always considered to be an act of of service, service right? Yep. And so we serve each other. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gives us a level of responsibility and uh, yeah, love towards each other. Mm -hmm. um, giving back to our community. Yep. yep. I think that's important too. Like our what, Pacific Islander community. What, what, what we've done, right, is, is not just to isolate our kids just to serve ourselves mm -hmm. and serve our community. Yes, we want them to serve our Pacific Islander community so they can give back and remember where they come from. Mm -hmm. But I think the ultimate goal there is how do we serve our PI community mm -hmm. to be a blessing to the greater community mm -hmm. around us? And that is the ultimate goal, right? And so service is, service is huge. Um, some of the things that we've done with our kids to model that and incorporate them, whatever. Uh, we have a food bank at our church. Sure. Yep. So we have them um, participate in that. We've done, um, we go feed the unsheltered. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make goodie bags, um, uh, food packages. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of stuff that we do at church that involves 
service, mm -hmm. like our kids are in the mix of it. Like we want to incorporate them yes. into that. So it's something, again, we're going back to core values, but we want to emphasize modeling mm -hmm. as something that's huge that we yeah. do. Yep. And it's something we do as a family, which is mm -hmm. great. It's not just dad going, you know, doing church mm -hmm. stuff or service. It's us as, it's us as a family. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we've already decided a long time ago, it's like whenever I travel mm -hmm. uh, for ministry, um, I take at least one child with me. Mm -hmm. So they can experience this broader view of service. It's not just locally, mm -hmm. um, but it's something that is um, globally, right. right? And so each child has already, except for Judah. Oh no, Judah went to. Um... No, you can take Judah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we, me, 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 you, and Judah went on. Yeah. on uh, I think it was Jersey or New York or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, this coming up uh, April, I'm taking. Um, Gideon with me. And so all the other boys have had an opportunity to go. And so mm -hmm. we, we, we think service is valuable because mm -hmm. uh, we don't want our kids to grow up to be selfish, mm -hmm. self-centered. For sure. You know, and so that's, that's also mm -hmm. a core value, right? And what's our last one? Uh, Self-care. Mm -hmm. That's it. Speaking of which, yep. right? Yep. Like, um, like Marshawn Lynch said, right? We're, we're, when we're talking about um, self-care, we're also talking about taking care of your mentals. Right. And I think that's something that's huge. Yeah. Because we don't talk about that. Oh, no, much, no. Right? Definitely important. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's last on the list doesn't mean that it's any more important. Yeah. And yeah, I, so, think, yeah. I think that's a good, that's a good point. And when yeah. it's core values, mm -hmm. we consider these core values to all be chain linked together. Mm -hmm. Right. So meaning you can't have one without the other. Right. It all, it all complements each other. Mm -hmm. Right. And just because you're right, just because it's last doesn't mean that you take care yeah. of your mental health last or mm -hmm. your, your, your physical health mm -hmm. lasts. Like, no, it's important. Yeah, it's right? just as important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are the breakdowns of maybe uh, self-care like? So yeah, we have we mental, have mental health. health, physical, spiritual health, um, mm -hmm. invest in yourself, take time for yourself, mm -hmm. right? Create a culture of investing um, into experiences, right? That's oh, something yeah. that we've done. Yeah. Um, with things, yeah. I, I think especially for a long time, we were without money. Um, I mean, we still broke, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got a little bit more money now. I mean, just, you know, we can go McDonald's, but uh, before we had uh, without, and I think one Christmas, I mean, we didn't even have a tree up till the morning Christmas of Eve. Christmas yeah, right. because it was so cheap. I could spend $5 for the tree. It was almost dying. <laughs> it was almost dying about the tree. But the kids were so happy. I mean, mm -hmm. that experience over money. Yeah. And we just bought like a bunch of From dollar, Walgreens. dollar tree. Yeah. Walgreens tree, was all the Walgreens, open. Yep. Toys that were like slinkies and, and you know, mm -hmm. little things. But it was those memories that were created for the kids that, you know, memories over money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Experiences over Ooh, that's money. Good. Mm. That, that really our kids still remember to this yeah. day. Yeah. So like we'll invest into um, experiences rather than some you know, some toys or things like that. Like, yeah. um, Linda always has these crazy ideas like, okay, this summer we're going to, we're going to go out to Mount Zion or we're going to go mm -hmm. to Sequoia. And then we're like, okay. And we, we would go and the experience in itself is something our kids will never forget. And so we, we've made sure yep. to incorporate that in our family's, um, core values that, Hey, we've got to take care of ourselves. Right. We're no good to anybody else if we're not mm -hmm. taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so those are, those are things that are, that are um, important, right? Yeah, yeah. And so more currently, what are some things that we've been investing in for our own physical, spiritual, mental health? Uh, since moving to San Diego. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, the first, our first big purchase, uh, purchase sorry, yeah. was paddleboards. Right, Yeah. right. So who, who doesn't like the water, right? Yeah. So uh, as a family, I mean, that's mm -hmm. something we can all enjoy. And it's, I mean, after the paddleboards, I mean, it's free. Going to the beach is free, so. Mm. Yeah, spending the day yep. in the sun. Surfboards for yep. the boys. Surfboards, yeah, um, surfboards. Skateboards, skateboards. Things that encourages us to get out physical again. Physical health, physical fresh health. Air, That's right. right. Spiritual health. Mm -hmm. Nothing like getting out there on the the open water and just spending some alone time with God, mm -hmm. right? And so you, hey, that's a good point. So, core values also helps us to navigate things that we purchase. Right. And so Linda said the very first big thing that we've purchased. Uh, were our paddle boards. And so we had to sit down and ask ourselves right. and go through our five core values to say, hey, is this something mm -hmm. that, um, again, can honor God or benefits right. our relationship with God? Mm -hmm. Is this something that's good for the family? Mm -hmm. And we said, yes. You know, yep. um, is it educational? 
Right. right? Again, we're not just talking about academics. Yeah. We're talking about learning holistic, a new hobby. learning something new. Yeah. Yes. Right. Um, is it something that's part of service? Yep. Yep. We've, we've um, taken a lot of yep. church People members out, out mm -hmm. uh, families that have come in mm -hmm. out of town, and we've used those as uh, spaces for yeah. counseling mm -hmm. or talking or just Mission getting appointments, people, right? mission they're appointments, they're right? And, just, uh, yeah. and the last is, of course, it's self-care. It's something that mm -hmm. we enjoy doing. And so that's, that's one example of how we can use our five core values um, to make choices on big purchases. Yeah, big purchases, right? yep. And so, you know, let's, let's just kind of pause there real, real quick because I just want to share before we actually get you into the nuts and bolts of how to develop um, core values. Right, because we covered the why. Yep, we covered the why. <laughs> Why is it important? Yeah. Right? And so we, we, we also want to talk about, again, the practical part of some of the experience that we've had that mm -hmm. helped us navigate mm -hmm. in some of the biggest choices and transitions mm -hmm. that we've that we've made. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I think one of the biggest d decisions that we've made in ministry when we had the opportunity to um, minister out of the country or out of the state and it came our way. Um, what did we do, right? We, we had to sit down, had a family meeting. Yep. Um, a lot of prayer. A lot of prayer. <laughs> um, and this location that we, we had an opportunity to go, I mean, we were like, oh yeah, the God is calling us there, right? <laughs> like it was just a, a place where... I mean, who wouldn't want to go to Hawaii, right? Oh, it's out the back. <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, yes, Lord, you're sending us to, yeah. to the wilderness. And yeah. so we were thinking, you know, this is a great opportunity for Linda to go back home where she grew yeah. up. Yeah. And we, we even tried to manipulate those values, mm -hmm. if we're going to be honest, mm -hmm. so that it would, it, it would allow us to go. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember I was praying. Right. And I says, Lord, if you, if you want to open this door, you have to give us a sign. Mm -hmm. You have to let us know mm -hmm. um, if there's something that's good for our family. Mm -hmm. So we, we, it's a God thing. It's an opportunity for us to serve. Mm -hmm. We're thinking as a family. Right. That it's not just good for you or me. It's it was good for everybody. Good, yeah, it needed to be good right? for this family. Um, yes. And then we actually get to go back and give back to our Pacific Islander people and serve them in that context. And we're just mm -hmm. like, yeah, this yep. is it. This is it. Self-care in Hawaii? Come yeah. on now. The tans? The food? The food? Come on. <laughs> like, who wouldn't want to come, right? <laughs> but there was one of those yeah, the core, core values, values yeah. um, that made us uh, turn the opportunity down, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that was education. Mm -hmm. And so after that prayer, I go to church the following Sabbath and um, one, of the, one of our mentors, mm -hmm. uh, wife had uh, walked up to me and says, hey, I heard, I heard that you have an opportunity to go. Um, they used to minister and mm -hmm. pastor out there as well. Mm -hmm. And she says, if I could just give you a bit of advice. And she said, um, Hawaii's good for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, she says, you might be good for Hawaii. Yeah. But at this stage in life with your kids, mm -hmm. Hawaii might not be so good for you. Mm -hmm. And then she went down the list of uh, the challenges with education mm -hmm. on a small island. Yeah. Our, Marley was just going to be his first year in college. That's right. Which means the flying back and forth home would be yeah. very expensive. Very expensive. Right? Um, our families, in the case that somebody got ill or sick. Yeah. Um, just to travel for us to to get from the island back to the mainland mm -hmm. would be a financial strain. Yeah. But the education was the thing that did it for us. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the mainland provided a, a better education. Christian education. Christian education. Yeah. Christian, Absolutely, yeah. let's make that Christian, clear. Yeah. Christian education uh, for our boys, mm -hmm. and so we decided to we yeah. decided to turn it down and to just see where other opportunities God was was leading us. And so understand, never compromise, right? When it comes to your core values and when you develop those core values, never compromise one core value for the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Like it's it, it like either you say, you, it's all changing. Like, it's all changing together. You can't you can't say, well, you know, well, three out of four ain't bad. Mm -hmm. Four out of five ain't bad. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you can't compromise. That's why they're core values. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're there because it helps you make the decision not based on your emotions and your feelings, mm -hmm. but based on what you consider to be important. important and core to your family's development. Right? And so 
Right now, family, uh, this is where the rubber meets the road. What we share with you right now will also give you uh, the worksheet and access to this. Uh, you could probably just send in an email. We'll work with Relove to see how we can get these um, worksheets for you. Uh, but we're just going to kind of just walk you through this uh, worksheet um, and you can take notes um, and finish it later. You know, this is something that takes time. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and not only just time, but lots of prayer. lots of prayer. Yes. <laughs> lots of prayer. Right. And so um, the first thing is this, right, in creating um, your core value list. So um, one, what do you believe in? Mm. Uh, what really matters to you? What mm -hmm. values help govern how you live your life? What values do you want to pass on to your children? Mm -hmm. um, and then once you have time to answer those questions, Mm -hmm. um, the second question you should ask yourself is answer the following questions uh, that I'm going to ask you here individually. Okay. And so ask yourself this, take some time and list as many values as you can that you would like to pass on to your children. Mm -hmm. All right. So just think of the, the legacy you want to leave behind and not the, 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 the credit debt or anything mm -hmm. else, but what qualities or characteristics do you want to leave behind or that you want to pass on to your children, right? So example, like trust, honesty, mm -hmm. um, a good faith, 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 education, work ethic, those mm -hmm. kind of things, mm -hmm. right? And out of that list, uh, designate your top five core values um, in order of priority. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from most to least mm -hmm. important, list your five core, top five core values. Mm -hmm. And then take time after you've done these first questions individually to come together as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say if you have older kids, it, it'd be good to kind of have them participate in this. Mm -hmm. I think for us, we had more of a part to play in developing our core values because we were just coming into the Lord and there was things that, that we wanted to implement yes, and model for our kids. our kids. And so we're like, this is what we were, we, we, we were missing the mark on. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of developed it and, and then our kids had the buy-in on it. So develop a, a, a unified list now, right? And so share your list with each other, take time to talk it over and see if there's, mm -hmm. um, if there was core values that you guys both shared that you have written down and then share your answers with each other, right? And so ask this question, in what areas do you agree and disagree with each other's conclusion, all right? In what areas, okay? Like, don't fight. Yeah, don't have no intense moment of fellowship. <laughs> of fellowship. No, just, you know, <laughs> just, just see what the disagreement and the conclusion is about it, right? And just ask this question, where are you different, right? Mm -hmm. where, where, where is the tension between where you see, where you don't see eye to eye? And then talk about how you need one another for balance, mm -hmm. right? And then try to develop some of these core values together, right? Okay, all right. So now develop a unified, since you were able to talk that out, unified top 10 core values list, mm -hmm. and then put order of priority again from most important to least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it might be that um, if, if your core values are different, you know how you, you made that five core values individually? Mm -hmm. It might be those two fives together unless you, you, you've doubled up on some. Mm -hmm. And so, Look over all of those core values and take your top 10 for your priority. Um, the following is this. Take time to pause. Mm -hmm. And what? Pray. Come on now, somebody. Take, <laughs> take time Help to us. pause and pray. Help like us. this is something you have to do. Continuously. Continuously <laughs> and prayerfully. Because think about it. These are your core values in which right. is going to be the foundation, mm -hmm. the legs that hold up. Right? Right. Um, your, your, your family and the way that your family is directed and also functions, right? Okay, and then when the time is right, choose four or five of the top core values together from the United List you both created. Right, mm -hmm. and so in the resource that we will share with you, it will also give you um, more in-depth guidance on how to implement these core values into your family life and also um, in parenting. And so we will, we will share those resources with you um, on how to develop maybe even a mission statement or vision statement for your family. And we're also developing core values for your family. Yeah. Hey, so we did it. That's it, Rila family. We've, yep. we've come to the end of our topic. Right? Yep. And so family, our prayer for you yes. is that 
God will direct your path as parents yes. um, and that you will come up with in regards to your core values, something that will be a blessing not only to your family, yes. but also to a lasting, um, a lasting legacy from yes. generations and generations to come. To come. And so let's, oh, let's, say prayer. let's say prayer. Let's yeah. pray, family. We want to pray a blessing over you as we end. God, thank you for the time that we've been able to spend together. We're grateful for every parent that mm. is watching um, today. Yes. And we ask God first that you would grant them clarity, grant them guidance, mm. accountability. And then, Father, that you would just allow them the space and time to develop their own personal core values yes. that you would have them to have for their family. Mm. Bless every family and couple and household that is represented here in this space today. Yes. And Father, we ask these things, Lord, that not only would you show up and show out, but Father, that you would lead and direct them to a place where their family, their home, and their parenting would thrive. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, peace and love. All right, Rita family, take care.